Hi, my name is Andy Lewis, and I'm going to be taking you through the Staying Alive CPR training app developed by Isaiah Haley, Oliyami Ibrahim, and myself. Here is a depiction of the system architecture. At the top is a mannequin with a sensor on its chest. The sensor is delivering information about a student's CPR training performance through a server to the app itself. I'm going to let Gabriel Adriano, a member of the bioengineering team that developed the sensor, give you a brief overview of how that works. So we have uh, two sensors. One is a force pressure um, sensor, which um, activates when the person starts doing compressions. And then we got an accelerometer, which after calculation can be used to calculate the displacement, compression rate for a device. While the bioengineering team was developing the sensor, we needed to come up with a way to take the acceleration data that they were going to be sending us and convert it into human readable form, getting the values of compression rate, compression depth, and hands-off time. Also, we needed to be able to track events that the sensor could not detect, like when the student stops to administer medication. All this needed to fit on a variety of different phones. The end result, is a staying alive CPR training app. Let's take a look at how it works. After starting up the app and waiting for a connection to be established, we're ready to begin training. Pressing the begin button, we immediately start receiving information from the sensor as students perform CPR on a mannequin. As you can see, the app is receiving data from the sensor and converting it to human readable values. When those values fall outside of the desired range, such as when the compression rate is too slow, the bars turn from green to red, and a warning message is displayed underneath the time in the blue window at the top of the app. Also, there are buttons that allow for the tracking of events that the sensor cannot detect, such as the administration of epinephrine or when AED pads are applied. The primary use case for Staying Alive CPR training app is for an instructor to monitor student training and deliver feedback as appropriate. Once the training is completed, we provided a method for viewing the overall results, as well as exporting them if desired using Apple ShareSheet. This will allow the resulting CSV file to be shared via email, saved to file, shared via Bluetooth, or whatever method happens to be most readily available. Finally, the exported results can be opened in a text editor, or more commonly, an Excel type program. This has been Staying Alive CPR Training App. Thanks for watching.